Youth Runner here with uh, the incredible gentleman from Beckman, uh, winner of the uh, Rob Renner Boys Championship race, defending California soil, not going to let the best team in Oregon uh, come, to, uh, come to Woodward Park and, uh, and, and upstage them. Uh, let's hear from uh, all these incredible athletes and uh, talk about just how much this uh, performance means. Introduce yourself, please. Uh, Jude Tenoria. Jude, just uh, the, the, the fact that, uh, that this group is so cohesive, right? It just believes in one another. Trust in the coaching staff, trust in the, uh, the process. To be able to see it come to fruition on, uh, on a day like today, how, how meaningful is this, Jude? Uh, this, is awesome. uh, this is an awesome experience. I think we worked well as a team. Uh, our top five did really good and top six and seven. Uh, I think uh, our coach did a really good job in prepping us for, for this and we all uh, followed the plan pretty well. Congratulations, yeah. great work. Introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Anthony Barrera. Anthony, just in, in terms of this group, Growing right from from August to you know, September, you know, going through, uh, you know through the experiences at uh, you know at, at, at Woodbridge and you know and just the preparation here, like just uh, how, how good have you felt about the development and the growth uh, of the group, you know, to set yourself up for a day like today? Um, I mean, we started the season, you know, really good, and then throughout the season we kind of dipped under at uh, Woodbridge, and but I'm glad that we came back. You know, this team has developed. I love these. These are my boys. They're my family, you know, and I treat them with respect and they treat me with respect and I think that's a key factor in this race, you know, and in a team culture. So, yeah, that's it. I love it, man. Uh, in, 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 in terms of, uh, of that team culture, uh, how profound is a day like today in continuing to add to that team culture? Um, I mean, today is an important day, you know, we won. So today's going to obviously be, like, important to us. Um, it's profound in the way that, like, we're gonna take this experience. We're not gonna, you know, get in our head and just take what we can from the experience and what we did good and continue on. Great job. Thank you. I'm Ryan Barris. Ryan, the, uh, the the thing that I appreciate among many things about this group <laughs> is the humility, right? Like right after the race, you know, it's a great moment among you guys and coach and whatnot and being like, hey, you know what? Like we're gonna celebrate this. We're gonna appreciate it. We're gonna cherish it. But you know, whether it's OC champs, whether it's you know. Races upcoming at Mount Sac and whatnot. It's like you know, uh, it's still a story that needs to be finished. How important is is that for the for the group that even on an amazing day like today, that just keeping everything in the right perspective? Um, I think it's very important not to lose sight of what we're hoping for towards the end of the season. Just because it's close, it's a big meet, but state's still a couple weeks away, and I think we have a lot more we can improve on as a team. But I think we're just very happy with our development and. We just don't want to lose sight of our bigger goals. So we're going to take this as a good lesson moving forward and a victory. But we think we still have a lot that we can get better at. Absolutely. Uh, can't wait to see it uh, shown off not only uh, throughout the gauntlet at, uh, in the southern section, but obviously back here on November 30th. Great job. <laughs> My name is Christian Weber. Christian, uh, uh, in terms of what is front of mind right now, in terms of where you guys already know you can improve, like, uh, how exciting is, is that opportunity, knowing it's far from, you know, a finished product? I mean, you guys put a masterpiece together today, yeah. but it's still far from a finished product. How exciting is that? Um, our coach is setting us, like, to peak later on at State, so we're nowhere, like, near our full potential. So I'm really excited to see this team improve, you know. I mean, we work really hard, and we do really, we do really good together. So I'm sure we have so much more to go, and we're not even close to our peak. So, yeah. Congratulations, man. My name is Nate Harox. The fact that you guys stayed so patient, right? Trusted in each other, trusted in the uh, in, in the race strategy and the race plan, first mile, and then really asserted yourself a uh, second mile, but uh, but also showed like, hey, we're not going to back down, you know, in in that final uh, K as well. Like, uh, how empowering was that? Like, to not only see one guy do that, but to see everybody do that. Well, it's definitely easy having Mason up there and trying to catch Anthony and Ryan, and you know, we just did what our coach told us to. We trust our coach, and you know, he led us to the win. And we're just gonna keep following him all the way to state. And yeah, it's just really easy with with your team all around you and seeing them um, as you're trying to kick and finish. And also, big shout out to um, our B team. They were they were along the whole course, just shouting at us. Every spot counts. Oh, absolutely. And that's what made it so easy to finish strong. <laughs> big Beckman presence out there. Big yeah. Beckman energy. I it's love just it. It's so easy to finish strong. Awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, hi, I'm Aaron Feaster. Aaron, and uh, in, 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 in in terms of like just the, the lessons learned, the experiences uh, uh, from Woodbridge, right? I mean, uh, this is the course where legacies are determined in California. Everybody wants to go to Woodbridge. They want to be under the lights. You know, everybody wants to PR or whatever, but you guys are a very intelligent group. You understand this is the course where legacies are made in, uh, yeah. in, in California. 
How, how affirming is it, how validating is it that the group could bounce back with this kind of performance specifically on this course? Oh, I think it's really affirming that we have that capability to bounce back going from like nearly like 26, like, like at the very bottom of Woodbridge and then um, just still like instilling that confidence within each other that we can, that uh, this isn't it. We still have so much more to go. This is just a stepping stone along the road to success. So um, it's really, it's really great to uh, um, be able to help like, like depend on my teammates and to be able to like have them know that they're there. They, um, oh, sorry. Uh, that like they can be here when it counts. So uh, it's really great. And I'm like I'm really happy with them. Really proud of our success today. But I know that. Um, this isn't it. Yeah. Like, we still have like almost like eight weeks away until we have stay, and then that's when the that's when the real power comes. So absolutely, great, yeah. Uh, I always say Woodbridge is Woodbridge is for show. When you race at Woodward Park, that's that, uh, that's for the dogs. Close when the big dogs yeah, come out. Most definitely, you guys certainly did. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. And certainly Mason, uh, Mason leading the charge up front. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, the fact like, you believe uh, in this group so much, they believe in, in you so much, like to be able to be the guy that sets the tone, right? Yes, that brings the right energy, like yes, that brings the right purpose. How, how meaningful is that for you? It's very meaningful, but I feel like that everyone sets the tone. We try to work together as a team. And I think our team unity is really coming together, especially as it's shown in our race today. And they're just all amazing group of people. And I hope we can just do, keep on moving forward and do the best we can. Mason, you know every single day in workouts how special this group is. Uh, how uh, how good does it feel that the rest of the state and the rest of the country gets to understand a little bit more about how special Beckman is? I, it's pretty nice. It's nice to know how like everyone notices how good we are. But I don't want that our team to get full of ourselves. You know, like we want to keep moving forward. You know, aim for the next big thing, try to make the state, and try hopefully try to reach achieve bigger goals after that. Awesome, man. Uh, OC champs next week. Um, or are you guys going to chill? I think we're going to chill. Maybe okay. we will go to Mount Sac. Okay. On another shout out, I'd like to thank all the competition out there. I know they really pushed me to the best I can. I really hope that they push me. I push them to the best of my ability. I'd also like to thank you and all the cameramen, all the volunteers out here for taking time out of the weekend to come film us and film the races and everything, sir. Well, you guys gave us all the highlights today, man. Uh, you, stay healthy. Best of luck going forward. Thank you. You too, sir.